This is going to be a brief demonstration of the process you can use to configure an overall grade column and also check on your columns and categories and how they're associated. Okay, so here's this example course where I have a, a batch of columns and I have some grades and I need to set up my overall grade column. I can do that by clicking on the set it up button that appears in the panel and if you don't see the panel you can click on the gear icon to get it back. You'll click on the Setup Overall Grade button. Both will result in you getting to this screen where you can choose whether your overall grade will be based on points or weighted. So let's choose weighted and I'll click Next. So on this screen I will see a list of all of the categories in the course and a summary of what columns are associated with each category. Now if something were not right Let's say that I really meant for this activity to be an assignment. What I can do is exit out of here, go find that item in the gradebook, edit the item, and then go to the category area under activity settings and then choose what the right category should be. So let's make this an, an assignment. Okay, so now when I go back in and set up my overall grade and get back to that weighted total screen, there should be four items under assignment, and there they are. Okay, so once you have everything um, configured the way you need it to be category-wise, on this screen, then you're going to start by removing the things you're not using. Notice how Blackboard has filled in an example percentage weight for each of these categories. Remove the ones you're not going to use. So I don't have anything under tests, so I'm going to remove that. Same thing for presentation, journal, homework, exam, assessment, and activity. So now I'm left with just three categories I'm using. Notice how Blackboard has adjusted the weights to try to do this equally. and That means anything inside this category will have a percentage of this weight associated with it. So this 33.33% is going to be divided up equally amongst week one discussion, document design project, and week two wrap up discussion. Okay, that's if you wanted to use the broad categories to determine your, your final grade. If you wanted to break some of these items out and give them their own individual weights, what you could do is click the down arrow so that you can see all of these assessments and then click on the unlink option so that's going to move them out of the category and then what you can do is hide the original category once it has zero items associated with it so you're going to exclude this from calculations so now you're just working with these four columns and then items in discussion category and items in quiz category so let's see here. Let's say my discussions overall are going to be worth 25%. Everything in here will get a portion of the 25%. Let's say everything in my quiz category is also going to be 25%. And then I'm going to adjust my values here. Let's say my career essentials I'm not even going to include. I'm going to break that out. It's not going to be included in the weighted total. And now I have to adjust my assignments. So I want my document review to be worth more so let's make this 20 percent and then let's say my game is going to be worth less so let's make this just 10 percent so then my rationale assignment will then be 20 percent as well so blackboard will try to adjust these weights as you start filling in the other values okay so these two assignments are 20 percent and this one last assignment is going to be worth 10 percent and the last part of this is how you want the letter grade to display. If you want to have this set as the default letter grade uh, schema in the course, you can do that. Otherwise, you could choose percentage. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. Okay. And so now, because I have this student who has some grades posted, I can see that a final grade based off of the weighting of these items has begun to populate. I'm going to add some more grades here just to see how this changes. So let's say the student got full 15 points there. 
document review, let's say they didn't do it. So now my grade is dropped. And let's say that they got 10 points in this discussion and 45 points in this document design. And then of course the career essentials is not going to be calculated towards the weighted total so that has no impact. Okay, so this is how the grade is now being calculated. So all of the assignments, all of the discussions, and the quiz are being weighted to create this final grade here. And again, that was based off these, these calculations. So the individual assessments have their own weights associated with them because I broke them out of the assignment category and I, I made that category um, excluded because there's nothing in it anymore technically and we're only going to be weighting the assessments outside of it.